Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this worst WWE figures of 2020 video. Um, a big shout out to everyone that's watching this. Uh, I know that the channel hasn't had as many figure videos uh, as what you would have liked to have seen. Uh, 2020 was just an awful year, really all around. Uh, a lot of the shops were closed here in the UK, so we couldn't go toy hunting. If I don't go toy hunting, I don't get new figures. Uh, so that means we can't do unboxings, we can't do reviews. Um, it really restricts everything. Um, so I wanted to do this video, but I didn't really want to do it until we'd done a new toy hunt. Everyone wanted a new toy hunt. Uh, and we managed to get that onto the channel just a couple of days ago. So hopefully you saw that. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I definitely want to bring more in 2021. But we're going to have to wait and see how everything plays out. But this was a video that people were requesting as well. I had a lot of people at the end of 2020 asking, would I make a best of the year and a worst of the year? Uh, so it is time for our worst figures of 2020. I, I must admit though, I do think that 2020 was a very good year for WWE action figures. I think they got pretty much everything there or thereabouts. There was only a few things that I thought they really dropped the ball on and that's what we're going to look in this video. So let's start shall we with uh, a top five and we'll start with number five, Drake Maverick. So, Drake Maverick, Elite Series 78, the face scan on it is okay, body is okay, you get a couple of accessories. The reason why this is on this list is it's just not enough. There is not enough there. It's a small figure, of course, Drake Maverick, not the biggest of superstars, so it's in scale. But the problem is that if you've got a small figure... You better put in a ton of accessories. I don't care what they are. I don't care if they're kendo sticks or buckets or whatever you want to throw in. Um, like, you really do need to make sure that you're giving good value. And I didn't think that this was good value. Uh, next up, we've got this uh, Bret Hart. Now, I hate this Bret Hart. Uh, I hate the head on this Bret Hart. I don't hate... Bret Hart's actual head. I've no issues with that. But uh, I do hate the head on this figure. I think it's like the hair. I hate the hair sculpt. I don't think the facial likeness is all that strong. Uh, I didn't like it when it came with the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart. I don't like it here. But um, the reason why this makes the list is not only do I not like the head, but um, the ring attire, it's not the right shade of pink. Um, like, it should be electric pink. It's a shame because I do think this set is quite cool. You do get some very unique accessories in there, including the WCW United States Championship, which we hadn't had before. Next up, uh, we've got Edge WrestleMania Elite. This honestly looks like a Jax figure to me. Um, again, it could be that someone has taken out the Mattel figure and put a Jax figure in its place. I struggle to see the likeness of Edge in the face on this one. I also think that it looks like he's got no neck. Certainly if you compare the figure to the graphic, the computer generated image, you can kind of see what they were aiming for compared to what we ended up getting. Um, the other thing as well is uh, if you actually compare this to the new Edge that's coming out, the Elite 83 I think it is, um, you can see how incredible that is. Look at this edge. Look at the true effects there. Look at the detail in the beard. It just looks stunning. That looks an incredible, incredible figure. So if you look at what they were able to achieve with this version of edge and then compare it to the, the, the edge we're looking at here, it's just awful. It's awful. I know they're from very different time periods. I, I fully understand that. But uh, I do think they could have done a, a better job with that likeness. Number two on the list. And this was honestly the first figure I thought of 
when I thought of this video. As soon as I knew that I was doing this video, I had time for this video. This is the first figure that came to mind. But amazingly, it doesn't make the top spot. Uh, and it is Tegan Knox. Tegan Knox Basic, I just think, is awful. Uh, I cannot see Tegan in the face there. If you told me that this girl was called Tiffany, I would believe you. Um, like, I really struggle to see Tegan Knox. The figure seems to have, like, a really big forehead. Um, the kind of body proportions don't feel quite right. Uh, I kind of feel like the legs on this are, like, just way too big in comparison to the arms. And, um, yeah, I, I just really I hate it. I just don't think that this has captured Tegan Knox at all. And that brings us to number one, and you might have guessed this, um, I think everyone laid into this figure when it came out. It is the Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse Ringside Collectibles figure. I was really, really looking forward to a Firefly Funhouse set. I think we first saw the Funhouse in like April of 2019, and as soon as we saw it, I knew they would work on it straight away. So I was expecting something around the middle of 2020, which in all fairness is roughly when this came out. But they had quite a bit of time to work on this. This wasn't rushed. This didn't make it out for Christmas or anything like that. They didn't get this out in like six months. This like had a proper 12 month period of, you know, being designed, manufactured, going through the processes. Um, and for whatever reason, it turned out the way it turned out. First thing I'm going to say is, where is Huskus? I don't understand how you can release a Funhouse set and have one of the key characters missing. Um, they managed to get in, like, the Devil Vince evil boss uh, puppet, but they couldn't get Huskus. So I really struggle with the fact that one of the key puppets is missing. Uh, the other thing as well is the packaging's fine. Uh, I think as a box, it's not that impressive, but once you fold it out, this image in particular, I think looks great. Uh, that image kind of really impressed me when I first saw it as an, uh, an initial impression. I think that's really strong, but it's when you start looking into things that you start to see that not everything is as it seems. Um, so I think the packaging, fine. I think the puppets are great, but as I said, one is missing. But it all comes down to that Bray Wyatt figure. This is just a painted elite figure. Look at the body. Look at the torso. Yes, it's got elite articulation. But I would much rather they had included a basic I would much rather they had just put in a basic Bray. You can get a really good basic Funhouse Bray with a nice sculpted, like, jumper. Uh, and it's got cuffs and it's got, like, the shirt uh, sticking out, collar and everything. It looks really, really good. So uh, I would much prefer they just included that rather than trying to give us an elite that for whatever reason they just could not get right. Uh, it kind of seems like they either ran out of time or just thought this was good enough. I don't know. It's just a painted body and it just looks awful. It just looks really, really bad. So I do like the fact that it comes with changeable hands and that you can put the puppets on his hands. I do appreciate those uh, little touches. I think the face scan on it as well is uh, really good, but... I think what you have to remember is this is currently the first and only Firefly Funhouse set. This this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we were all excited for. Can you can you uh, imagine what it's going to be like when they make the puppets and the Funhouse and all of that? Well, it came out and this was it. So uh, I kind of, I don't know, I was expecting like an epic moments pack. I was expecting something that was going to have, like, maybe the TV as a separate accessory. Uh, the little table with the Mercy box and all of this. Granted, you know, you're going to have to spend a bit of money on that. I understand it's going to be a high price point. But I think if people were going to invest in something and spend on something, it would be the Firefly Funhouse. 
And that was it, guys. Again, let me stress, 2020 was a really good year. We got uh, the likes of Io Shirai, which I thought was a stunning figure. Um, we got as well that fantastic Fiend Ultimate Edition, the Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Edition as well. Um, China? China? We finally got a China figure. So, I mean, look, there was loads of great stuff. I'm not going to stand here and go through all the best figures right now. But I did want to just highlight the ones that maybe didn't quite make the grade. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.